Okay, there's my my friend Steve, and we're down record shopping down in Clearwater, Florida. We're gonna visit a place that I've never been to before, Blue Clearwater Record Shop. And uh, he's he's showing me the way in there. He wants that Beatles sign though; they won't sell it to him. But uh, we'll we'll see if we can talk him into it today. But we're gonna see what we can find here today at the Clearwater Record Shop. All right, here we are inside. Man, this place is extremely overwhelming if I guess. So look at all of that vinyl on the wall. All this vinyl through here. Wow. There's nooks and crannies of collectibles everywhere. And uh, we've got this whole other adjoining room here. And look at all of the CDs. Oh, excuse me. stuff hanging on the wall. Got another huge room of vinyl and stuff. I mean, this is like talking days to spend in here. Howdy. Hey. <laughs> That's the proprietor. Oh my gosh. So, I need to get started somewhere and kind of decide what I'm what I'm looking for here and we'll check back in with you and we'll show you some more video here in a little bit. There's my friend Steve getting some help trying to find a rare Beatles cover record. Frank Ifield, anybody know that one? He's hoping he can find it. And uh, there's some box sets and just some really neat collectibles in here. Um, I'll show you what I found right now, the two that I was looking for here. T-Rex the Slider and Paul Simon on both on vinyl. Wanted to, they wanted to get these for my 1972 best of. And uh, a couple more that I wanna I wanna look for. Let's see if we can find them. But this place is just blowing my mind and I just kinda really need to be patient and think about what I'm actually looking for here. But the so chances are it's it's gonna be here. Look at here in the back, here's a whole bunch of music books, song books, and lyric sheets, and magazines and stuff. Pretty damn incredible. Well, again, just totally gobsmacked about this place and how deep it is. If you just look at, you know, the records by artists, you just see, like, I mean, just loaded like this is just all Dylan and what I'm finding is that every artist that I'm looking for the album is there in multiple copies and they pretty much have everything by them so I'm really having fun uh, rounding out this collection that I need from 1972 and I'll show you in a few minutes some more of the things that I got Hey, this is Mike, uh, back from Clearwater Record Shop. Wanted to give you a little bit of a, a post-mortem on the place. Man, I really um, like that store a lot. And I, I'm really gonna go out on a limb and tell you it's one of my, it's gonna be one of my favorite record stores ever. The people in there are so nice and it's just so well stocked. I mean, I, I, I probably said it a dozen times in the video, but if you're looking for something, it's gonna be there. And, you know, it's just so neat to just go up and see these old vintage classic albums that you're interested in and get to pick from five or six copies and to pay reasonable prices, too. And it's also the kind of place, you know, if you had a lot of time on your hands, I mean, just to dig through bins and boxes, who knows what in the world you'll find. But just a really uh, neat go-to place. And I'm so excited that my friend Steve took me there. Um, real quick, just to... Um, go through what I picked up. You saw that uh, the Paul Simon record, I'm working on my 1972 stuff. Uh, stuff. I think I told you before, stuff I bought on 8-track, I need to put on vinyl. Um, got this Paul Simon, really nice shape, little bit of ring wear in the back, five bucks, how can you beat that? Now, you saw also that I picked up a copy of the T-Rex slider. Uh, I have not seen this record anywhere. And this is a gatefold, and it is in literally in perfect condition, as is the vinyl. I spent 25 bucks for this and I didn't hesitate though. Like I said, I hadn't seen it around and just to see a record, what, 28 plus 20, 49 years old uh, in this great shape, I couldn't pass that up. 
A um, couple of other ones here, again, all at great prices. I found this in the new releases, the debut Eagles record. And you've heard me talk about the Eagles before. The first three records are great. Let's not talk about them after that. This was only seven. Uh, you know, this is the original Asylum pressing, and it's in, it's in pristine shape, a little bit of cover damage. Um, this next one was one I've been looking for, one of my favorite bands and favorite records of that year. Uh, Loggins and Messina, the second record. Um, and uh, this, the cover was a little worn on this, but the, I mean, the record was, the vinyl is just shining. And again, five bucks, couldn't beat that. And then the last one, I really had a hard time finding this, and they had about six or seven copies here, and one I really uh, am excited to have on vinyl. Uh, Stevie Wonder's Inner Visions, again from 1972. And something I noticed, and I need to look into this, there's some Braille uh, writing on the top here. I, and I noticed it didn't seem to be on every copy, so I, that's something I'm going to look into. But again, really nice shape. Uh, it's a gatefold. The vinyl is in perfect condition, and this was only, uh, I think this was eight so uh, came out of there with a, with a haul of five really nice records. Uh, my friend spent a lot more money than I did, uh, and I, my, I'm limited to what I can take back on the plane. But uh, anyway, definitely put this on your list if you're everywhere, anywhere in the St. Pete, Tampa, Clearwater, Sarasota area. Clearwater Record Shop, if you're a record collector, you will have a great time in there. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and please, 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 please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me get to the Magic 100. I, last time I looked, I was at 899, so we're going to get there soon. But thanks again, and uh, we'll be talking more about records as uh, the week goes on. I've got a couple more trips planned here.